It's now three weeks since I showed you documents and other evidence suggesting that South Australian Attorney General Kaim Ma, his claim to be Aboriginal, is almost certainly false. I wrote the same in newspapers around the country, but hello, three weeks later, where's Kaim Ma to tell me I'm wrong? It's to say, hey, no, here are the proofs. And as I showed you, skilled genealogists uh, from darkemuexposed.org found the available records for Ma, who claims to be initiated Aborigine, they do not show a single Aboriginal ancestor. And the story about his background also changed. I mean, first he said his mother, late in life, had found she had West Victorian Aboriginal ancestors. Then last year he said it was actually of Tasmanian Aboriginal descent. And maybe he is. I mean, I could be wrong. But the weird thing is that Ma suddenly doesn't want to talk at all about being Aboriginal. Not many people dare ask him either, which is odd. I mean, he is South Australia's top legal figure. Shouldn't they at least ask, are you what you say? But huge credit to, of all things, an ABC journalist, David Bevan, for trying last week, although Ma simply would not respond. Are you going to respond to those no, challenges? Uh, no, I'm not, David. You're not going to? No. You're not going to dignify them? Absolutely not. Are you going to sue? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just not going to dignify some of the... And it, it has been exceptionally disappointing, some of the things that, in, in a whole range of areas, we've seen you know, some of this debate descend into. And I know yeah. it's a topic that you brought up before, David, and is it, you know, is it really worth it if we're going to see you know, some of the, the commentary yeah. we hear as part of this? And, yeah, I think it actually is worth it. Not the answer I'd expect from an Aboriginal man who can prove it. Bevan tried again. But if, if you and the Premier have brought your, for want of a better word, ancestry into the public arena, doesn't it follow that you should be open to questions about yeah, no, that? As unpleasant as this is. And, and no, it's not something I brought into the public arena, David. It's others have brought it in. And, um, and, and if, 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 no, but, but it's, it's not a path that I'm going to go down. And uh, it's, if, if it's a path that commentators want to go down with, with people of the Jewish community, the Vietnamese community, they're welcome to, but it's not something I'm going to commentate on. Pardon? His Aboriginality is not something he's put in the public arena? I mean, really, he's traded on it. He's posed with Aboriginal face paint even. He's given interviews about it. South Australia's newly appointed Aboriginal Affairs Minister has revealed an Indigenous background that he knows very little about. But it's something that I'm very proud of, it's you know, part, of my, um, part of my heritage. But strange, you know, the South Australian Liberals don't dare ask Ma publicly to explain himself. So we have gone to the one member of the South Australian Parliament who just might, Sarah Game of One Nation. Sarah, good to see you again. Should your Attorney General you, prove Andrew. he really is Aboriginal when the evidence is that is not? Well, can I just say firstly, this is just highlights exactly why we shouldn't be having the voice. And it's really disappointing to hear so much time has been wasted uh, by the Liberal Party talking about detail. It's a bad idea. The voice is a bad idea. And we don't need more detail about a bad idea. And this questioning now about the Attorney General's uh, Aboriginality is exactly why I want to see scaffolding based on need and not race. Uh, but to answer your question, I think it's very surprising uh, that we don't see a forthcoming response here. The Attorney's made it clear that he's very proud of his Aboriginal ancestry and one would think that you would simply come forward uh, and uh, say, you know, this is the evidence that I do have. So, so it's surprising. I think it's, it's going to expand Absolutely. from this. We're going to be having a voting system and an election system, you know, where you must be Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander. And he's got to expect that people are going to be asking these questions when there's one uh, privilege or right or voice for one group of people over another, then you invite these types of questions. And, and that's one of my big problems with the voice, uh, to be honest. Well, particularly when, uh, of course, you have some Aboriginal uh, activists, uh, and I've quoted them on this show before, suggesting as many as 300,000 of our 800,000 Aborigines are not. And therefore, you might ask who is then going to get these extra rights and who can vote for it? I mean, it seems a pretty basic question. So why won't the Liberal Party raise this? 
That, and you've touched on a really uh, fantastic point there. The point is, you know, we're getting more and more into marriage between uh, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders and non-Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders, and that's a good thing. And many Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders are uh, contributing and adapting and thriving, and frankly, they're doing as well as non-Indigenous people. Uh, and it also raises the issue that many non-Indigenous people are struggling. In fact, the majority of people who are in poverty or homeless are non-Indigenous. So we're certainly going to be getting these uh, questions about proving Aboriginality when so many people are doing it tough. I think that the Liberal Party have really been focusing on uh, detail rather than the fundamental problem of principle of dividing us by race. I, I certainly have asked uh, the attorney in the parliament whether he is concerned about the risk of increased uh, racism as a result of this piece of legislation and how he feels in terms of being comfortable about the questioning that I believe ultimately will result from the people who put themselves up for election, uh, definitely. And it, it was really disappointing uh, to see the attorney really able to completely avoid uh, even those questions in the parliament and actually stood up again in parliament and uh, requested that he really answer those questions about how he feels about that scrutiny that people are going to face. And he, he just avoided it, Andrew, completely. Is the Attorney General, I thought, truth counted, truth and transparency? How hard is that? Sarah Game, thank you so much indeed for your time.